Hello, Creative Vision here, and I'll be showing you how to make a glass bottle. Um, so... One second, maybe I'll show you what you'll be making. Okay, never mind. Um, doesn't matter. So, just go to Google, and type in, I don't know, like, Coke glass bottle. And you have to go to your images to find an image. Okay, maybe this one will work. So the quality is kind of bad. Um, Sure, this is better. Okay. So you find this image, and you're supposed to save it anywhere. I'll just save it to desktop and call it Coke. And then uh, you make a new object. First, you, I will change the quality to make it look better. Look, 20. JPEG best and just to the image. Okay, then um, go to view and choose front. Then you're supposed to make a cube or something, doesn't matter. Put it up and make a new material by double clicking in this thing choosing the material turn off specular and choose the image which is called coke click yes or no it doesn't really matter but i always choose yes and then look at the size it's 350 by 386 one second someone was calling me so change the size of the thing in Z you can just make it two it doesn't matter um so in here type in three three fifty by three eighty six and hit enter and close the material and place it on the cube and you don't see anything happen because you're supposed to uh, click on display and any one of these as long as you see the texture over here so what you need to do now is you need to make sure that this lines up on a line like the middle okay. I think this should work pretty well okay so what you need to do now is choose a spline. I use a Kima spline all the time. Don't know why, I just think it's best for me to use this one. Um, and now just uh, go like around it, I guess, on the outside first. and get to the middle. So what you have to do now is go to the inside. And I messed up this little part a bit because it goes in the middle over here. I go on the inside.
Okay. So now you are pretty much done with creating the spine. Once you go, and you're supposed to do only the half of it. Doesn't matter which half. And then go in here and choose Lathe Nerbs. And take this line and put it so you see this little thing here. Like this little triangle. Like the, this like right angled square here. So now when you go into 3D mode and you hide the cube, you can see that it's a glass bottle. Well, it's not glass right now, but it's a bottle. But see, I messed up the top a little. But that's not a problem because you can select the little edges and move them. So, yeah. It's a bit weird. Well, mine does. I think that's good. And as you can see, I made a little mistake thing on the bottom. Because they did usually have holes in the bottom or else all the liquid would come out. So just like, fix that a bit. As you can see, looks pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at the image. See, there's like a little edge here, so I need to fix that a bit. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, except the top looks messed up, but for me it doesn't really matter. Uh, so now, you can delete the cube. So now just move the thing a little up. And if you render it, at, render it out, it doesn't look like a bottle, a glass bottle at all. Um, make a floor. Uh, and what I also do, I make a light. And raise it up. And I always make shadows. So now it will look more realistic. And now I'll make a new material. Uh, and change the color to 100% white. Go to transparency and change the refraction to 2. And you see you're supposed to have a check mark here and this is supposed to be 100%. And in reflection just check it, it should be 100 also. And take the material and put it onto the glass bottle. And as you can see, the bottle is made of glass. <gasps> no way. So there you go. That's how you make a glass bottle. Now all you need to do to save it is, uh, since it's a JPEG image and it's only one frame, uh, choose a destination like desktop or call it bottle. Um, choose a good view and also I choose glow sometimes because it makes it look nice and ambient occlusion oops not this ambient occlusion so as you can see when you export it out I'm gonna make the quality much smaller so it'll be faster 640 by 360 so let's take a look So working kind of slow, but you know, yours will look really good. Well, if you modeled it good, and that's how you do a basic, uh, like bottle. You can also make a wine glass. You know, you just do the exact same thing. Like, see, I'll try to quickly make a glass bottle right now. Okay, that's not working. I'll quickly make a glass bottle. I mean, a wine glass.
Oops, let's just do that. Let's just go to here. Now let's take a look at what it's going to look like. Oh my god. Got something. Supposed to move them all here. Okay. Whoops. There you go. I made an. I also made a simple wine glass just now in like what, like twenty seconds. So let's take a look. What it's gonna look like. So here you go. Hopefully you learned a lot from this little tutorial. So please subscribe, rate, comment, well, like, comment, tell me what I should teach how to model next. If I know how to model it. So yeah. No, don't save it. Quit this. Go to my desktop. I barely have any memory left. And delete the bottle that I was gonna save. Oh, it's not there. Okay, let's try Coke. Just to some memory. Plus, I have a hard drive that has like what? 1.5 terabytes left on it. So, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.